on the outside, you'd be looking in like, yo, like shit. Like, I don't really know if I want y'all together, but then it's like, are, is it okay for you to be like, you need to leave that person like on both of their sides? It's like, a hey. fine line. Yup, it's TMZ Verify the Podcast. I'm wild. I'm Steph. Don't talk about my hair. I will fix it and it'll look good in four weeks. I think it looks good. Yo, if y'all are listening on podcasts, look us up on YouTube, TMZ Verify. Stephanie has blonde hair now. Listen, if you don't like it, I'll fix it in a couple weeks. Let me tell you, the dudes are always oh, in the comments. Oh, they're eating like, it up. They're in the comments. Oh, month. I thought you were talking about the no, office. No, <laughs> no you freaking leak. I'm talking about. Like, Comment down below if I should stay brunette or blonde. On YouTube, just like on a regular week, they're always like, Stephanie, are you single? Do you have a man? Can I take you on a date? And all now I have to say. If you got blonde say, hair, girl, they're going to be okay, all I have coming to say, in high. All I have to say is I can always go back to brunette, but let's just vote in the comments down below. And I will look at the comments and I will scroll. Let's do it side by side. Branson, add a photo of Stephanie. That's your camera. Oh. Add a photo of Stephanie with her brown hair and then a photo of Stephanie with her blonde Okay, let's get going. <laughs> yeah, we got stuff to talk about today. There is, uh, speaking of blondes, Bobby Altoff, she's responding to rumors about her marriage and her relationship, particularly one that said that she was like sleeping with rappers to get these interviews. I'm so excited that she like publicly talked about this. Because that means that when they when the influencers or celebrities talk on their Instagram, that means they're done. They're pissed done. Off, right? I'm pissed now. All right, we'll tell y'all what she said. Remember, everybody was saying that she was sleeping with people like, not everybody. We got it. Okay. Okay. Uh, talk to a girl. Here we go. My least favorite internet person of the year. Wilds really beefing with this girl, and she does know not know he exists. <laughs> I like like he fully stood up to me today. We have a as we know, guys. We sit next to each other in the office. Bad news. I don't know who decided that. He stands up and goes, I cannot stand her. Talk to a girl. Like, why are we still? T- we are. It is our fault. Not us. It is no, it's ours. fault. Just us. Please. Like, come on. Bro. I know. I know. Talk but to Haley- a girl. Haley Welch. We got her at, uh, it was in New York City. We got her in New York City. She was visiting. Caught her at LaGuardia, Air- LaGuardia Airport. I don't LaGuardia. Know that was so hard. Mm-hmm. Um, and she opened up about, there is a. She's getting a lot of requests in her DMs for particular body part photos. And it's not her lips. It's something else. Stick around. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. Ingrid Andrus. We know you've heard it. We know <laughs> it. Like, I, I've been flooded with this thing. Yo, this week, Ingrid Andrus said, Fergie who? I'm going to show y'all what the national anthem. Cracking ah! up. <laughs> I'm going to show y'all what the national anthem is. Ingrid Andrus is the country singer who went viral this week for uh, singing the national anthem wrong, butchering it. Like it was probably like I could have got up there and sung the national. anthem. You would have done a great job. Thank you. Well, Ing- Ingrid Andrus, she's come out, you know, and she said why said why it was so bad. Yes, yes, yes. But the most important thing is, I really had to scour the internet to try to find a clip of her singing that didn't sound bad because I wanted to know. Like, there's no way. There's no way she sounds this bad in real life. I found the clip. We're going to play it. She's actually kind of good. I think so. All right. But first, Bad Baby, uh, a.k.a. Catch Me Outside Girl, a.k.a. Danielle Bergoli. Thank Dr. Phil. Uh, Danielle, Bad Baby, she's been in this kind of like messy situation with her now ex and the father of her child, LaVon. A few weeks ago, she released some video of him like attacking her um, or what appears to be him in the video attacking her kind of like outside of her house looked like some type of like surveillance or ring camera footage and the big question on everybody's mind is like yo are y'all gonna get back together because he is the father of your child which doesn't make it okay but he is the father of your child they seem to have a mess have a messy relationship anyway Mm -hmm. so everybody's been on the internet being like they about to get back together she don't care what y'all got to say she's been getting a lot of pushback which like Thoughts, Steph? So I want to start off by saying, as a woman, Mm -hmm. okay? I never really do that whole spiel, but as a woman, this is clearly an abusive relationship, okay? It's clear based off of the ring cam footage and other things that have gone public. Mm -hmm. This Instagram story that she posted was a video of them making out, her and her ex or current boyfriend, the one in the video that was abusive. So this is a new Instagram video. A new Instagram video on her story of them making out. Oh, so she answered my question for me. They is they is getting back together. So the song that was playing while the video of them making out was 
do we know? That's like key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Lil Durk's uh, 2020 makeup song, Coming Clean. Right. Where... In- implying that I need you in my life, we're not breaking mm-hmm. up, et cetera, et cetera, guys. Right, right. And the issue I have with this is you, you know, there's, again, it's an abusive relationship. You go, there's a lot of turn back and forth of like, do I stay? Do I go? They have a child together. I think she's internally struggling with, clearly it's not healthy. Right. And all I have to say is based off the post of them like making out on Instagram, it's like, I hope someone close to her is giving her an out that like, you don't have to be with someone like that. And I, is it right to say that I wish they work it out? Because I don't know if I think that. Uh, I think that that's the way you feel is the way like a lot of people feel when it comes to like watching people in toxic relationships, whether it's like physical abuse or mm-hmm. like, uh, you know, mental, whatever it is. I think that you always, on the outside, you'd be looking in like, yo, like shit. Like, I don't really know if I want y'all together, but then it's like, are is it okay for you to be like, you need to leave that person like on both of their sides. It's like, a maybe, fine line. What do you say? It's like when you see people like fighting on the streets when they're a couple. It's like, right. do you jump in that? Because they're probably going to go home together. Like, it's like. Because here's the thing. They have a child. Mm-hmm. You don't want that child growing up in that environment. Like, right, right. That would be horrible right. like I can't like I can't think of anything worse like than two mm-hmm. parents that are domestically involved like right. that and, and I uh, think if he continues his behavior mm-hmm. which let's say in a perfect world overnight he goes I'm never doing that again I'm gonna go to therapy I'm gonna go to therapy you really embarrassed me publicly but that's just normally not how it works right and I so think- I hope that she I, I I hope better for her truly. no I think you're right though like change behavior is always like the best behavior like you can say you're going to do better, but like, yeah. where's the actual change? So and, we, and will it be five years from now where you right. just randomly do the ring cam part two or will it be a week from now? And I think like, we're usually pretty like funny on this pod, but like, is this topic. is a serious topic. Yeah, like, crazy. you you got to be really careful here. Well, Bad Baby has since like, she's clapping back at fans who suggested that they shouldn't get back together. She posted a selfie and then tagged him in the photo. Like, so it's like... It, 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 it appears that they're they're getting back together if they're not already back together currently. We're gonna see how this plays out though. Other bad baby news. Did you see that bad baby makes she has made fifty oh seven million this. dollars on OnlyFans? Yeah. Fifty seven million dollars on OnlyFans? The issue I have is that if I quit and like did this, I wouldn't make that money. I think it's the lure of her. It's like she was so young at the time, now she's older. She like also, a lot of creepy has dudes a butt, who were she has probably boobs like now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. on her when she was like underage and, yeah. and they're creepy. And now they're like, let me. Yeah. yeah. She's I only 21, by the way. A baby. Which is like. So. At 21, I was like falling out of bars somewhere. Like. Yeah. And we always talk about this. Like, do we know, um, and pardon me for not knowing, like what her baby daddy does, her boyfriend? Uh, I don't really think he does much of anything. Okay. So, like, if she's my girl fully made funding. Dollars, I would be. Right, that so that's another con- like an additive to this is like he probably is like a rapper or something. Okay, but she's funding a lot of his stuff. Oh, for sure. Please, you think Levon is buying the house in Florida? I'm and just the, saying the, the, the nice car. You know more than anyone. Like that changes up the dynamic. Yeah, no, a honestly, lot. Yeah, that could so be a nice little layer. Okay. I hope best the best for you, and I hope that if you're gonna stay with him, you better fucking stop. I need to know what she posted on OnlyFans. Not to bring it back to today. What she posted on OnlyFans for $57 million? I have a gripe with Team Z for a sec. I think that we need to have someone in the office that Mm -hmm. is subscribed to every single celebs OnlyFans so that we all can get like a little peek. Like research purposes. Research purposes. Because truly, I would love to know. I genuinely want to know. Like, what is it? And I I think it needs to be someone responsible. So not me, not you. No, definitely not me and you. But like someone that is like research. Because I would love to see what, what exactly is she posting. Are we talking like... Spreading the legs apart, like are we no, like dancing? Good question, good are we question, naked? Right. Are we in bikinis? Are we doing selfies? Is it video? Is it? Are you recording yourself having sex? Like, there's so many options. So many, and we have no idea. All I hope is you keep the kid off there permanently. For sure. Okay, moving on. Talk to a girl, Haley Welsh. Talk to a girl, Haley Welsh. Is speaking of OnlyFans, we've been saying on this podcast <sighs> for two weeks. That it, there's nothing that Haley Welsh should do in this world. The first thing should be OnlyFans because, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. girl. Remember, she got famous from a viral video of her talking about basically sex it, act, sex act, like okay? little, little gawk gawk three thousand, right? Like. And which is great. And we live in such a like a pro like <laughs> a. Which is great. I'm saying no, if it is you want to go it on OnlyFans, 
But here's the thing. I feel like, like we always talk, every time we bring this up, and I'm sorry, we're reiter- it's the same story, different week. Like, I think you need to go into the fact that you got Lean famous for it. this. Lean into it. You were funny. Mm-hmm. I don't think you need to start a podcast. It's not giving, like, fashion influencer girly. Yeah, no, don't want to hear it. It's giving OnlyFans and do Instagram lives. So, we caught Haley out. <laughs> Like, the fact that we started this subject, we like, caught Haley Welch out as if she's a celebrity. Anyway, we caught Haley Welch out in New York City at the airport, and we asked her, like, what's been going on? Any offers coming through? And y'all would not believe what she said. Let's play the clip. Any, like, negotiations being made? Kind of. Kind of. Kind of? We're working on it. So you can't tell us? <laughs> <laughs> it's a surprise. It's a surprise? It's- so who's in the DMs? What are the DMs looking like these days? Okay, they're kind of creepy. <laughs> kind of creepy? Tell us more. Is it like weird? Okay, so. Toes. They want pictures of my toes. They want pictures yes. of your toes? I don't want to sell pictures of my toes. No way. All right, I have things to say. Go. Her audience, because this video went viral, is. Largely male. 90% men. Largely male. Uh, I'd argue like 95. An older audience for sure, because I don't even think it's that funny, and I must be, and I would say I'm pretty old. Yeah, I mean, I'm like in our twenties, like. But I'm like around her age, like I'm concerned on who's thinking this is funny. So like, your demographic is older men. Yes, I would assume. Yes. So you're going to get feet, feet, DMs, Mm -hmm. and prove me wrong. Post the DMs then of, of someone being like, link your hat, right. link your skirt. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see you do a makeup tutorial. No one's wanting that. So I think that's the feet pick DMs is tracking. That's exactly what you're going to get with being famous from this. Again, I think she's dropping the ball here because let me oh tell you God. right now, if somebody, if anybody watching this right now, if you would like message pictures of my feet or anybody part and you are willing to pay for it. Actually, I'm going to make feet. I can do. We go. If you Verified like, feet. If you would like photos of Stephanie's feet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How much? <Send> her- <laughs> we go, I'm and I'm talking. never talking to you again. Just send Come it to you. And then, look, like, I'm telling y'all right now, like, we ain't. I go, they're painted. <laughs> okay, back to me. For real. You? Like, I just don't know. I think if I got famous this way, you would sit me down and as my best it, friend. Look, and you would go, sis. listen, I know you want to be an influencer. I know you want to go to the beauty con, but that's just not what we're not doing here. Right Sephora now. is not going to sponsor you. Mm-hmm. You really need to go the... A selling dildos route, OnlyFans, start a sex podcast where you bring on all the OnlyFans girls yes. and interview them. I'd love to see that. You're really just missing your niche, and eventually this is going to run out, and that's what I'm worried for. Yes, because you want a lot of random things to do to try to gain. And you're not feeding your audience, which is gross, hungry it's men. Not. They can only watch the Hawk 2 of it so many times. Men have a short attention span. <laughs> Yo, get them toes ready, Haley, because, sis. Like, you know what I mean? No, you're right. That's a good point. Um, that's really all I have to say. She had a few public appearances. I think that's how she's making money. But, like, who? That's another thing. Who paying her to come to clubs? Okay, POV. Like, we're going to the club in t- West Hollywood tonight, right? I go, let's rally the girls. Let's rally the troops. All TMZ peeps. You know how we go to the bars? Okay. Hawk Tua girls hosting. Fuck yes. <laughs> Let me get in line. Like, no one's doing that. Actually, we're a bad example because I would. I would be excited. I was about to say. <laughs> okay, but that's because we work here. <laughs> that's because we work here, though. Like, normal people ain't checking for Hawk Tua. If I didn't have a podcast at TMZ, I wouldn't. Because, yeah, right. We need something. To I just want to come back to you guys and be like, dude. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, we're the worst. <laughs> Sorry. All right, moving on. Uh, Home Run Derby. Our girl, Ingrid. Andres. Roasted for her terrible national anthem. It was pretty bad. So, I mean, I'm sure you saw this earlier this week. Country singer Ingrid Andrus. She... If you haven't seen it, where have you, where truly have you been? It's everywhere. She she performed the national anthem at the MLB. She performed all right. Uh, MLB special event this week, and it was so bad. I can't even I can't even describe how bad it is. Just listen to the clip. That our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave? She almost pulled it together a little bit at the end there. With That's the a crazy statement. <laughs> I really think that, like, this is, you know what? 
Go. Say what she said about this. So Angry Dad since come out and she explained that she was uh, drunk during her performance. She revealed that she will be, quote, seeking help for her problems and her troubles. Um, so I guess she was drunk. But like, OK, here's my thing. I've talked about this before. Uh, I'm like, I don't just be drunk at places, but like I've been we've been doing like this type of work for so long. Yeah. That like if we went to like. Not say not even like being drunk, but like a happy hour or like mm -hmm. a professional event where like there was like drinks involved mm -hmm. and like we were like drinking and sip. We would still be performing. Like it would still it's be true. like we're talent. Like we're we podcast hosts. Like this, this is, is our, our job. Thing. Like yeah. Like how fucking wasted was she that she could not stand here and sing? Okay, I do want to preface and be the annoying one in the pod right now. Go. If she actually has a problem where she's struggling with alcohol abuse mm. and really. It wasn't just a let me do a shot before the performance to get my jitters out. And it actually like is a wasted. concerning problem that she struggles mm. with on the daily. Then we need to be a little bit more sensitive. Okay. If it was just an off track, hey, Wild, I'm performing on the pod tomorrow and I'm really, really nervous. And you go take a shot before and then I didn't eat today and I'm wasted on right. the pod. That's a different story. We don't know. I don't think we'll ever know. Yeah, really but the point here is being wasted for something this big is just not good it's for your like, career, um, for your reputation. Even if you go out there and like do the Super Bowl national anthem now, mm -hmm. people are gonna be like always remembering you as this, and I really like that. Sucks. It does kind of suck. Yeah. So every well, one she's a Grammy nominated country singer, and I go there is no, there's no way she sounds this bad. Like there's no, no they no wouldn't, they, way. wouldn't put, they wouldn't have booked her for That's it. That's what I'm saying. So we had to scour the internet, and we found a clip. This is Ingrid singing, and this is what she sounds like. Let's just, I guess I can say not drunk. This is what, this is sober Ingrid Andrus, according to her. I know it's a shot in the dark. Looking for what's left in the spark. Throwing them back like I got nothing to lose. It's a slow burn, just like you. Okay, first of all, we all owe her an apology. She's so Because that was, good. that was actually. Amazing. Damn, I take all my crap and talking, unique. my shit talking back. Like. But, but I will say, wait, wait, wait. Gonna gonna say, say, say thought, if go. you have a unique, unique voice like Do that, not and sing the national anthem. Like, that's the first thing I thought when I heard her sing. I go, sit, like, you got, you got. She's not generic, she's yeah, original. Like, and when no, you're not a basic you bitch, you cannot do the national anthem. <laughs> no, but like, you can't have like a, like, Is that like shady? you said, it's like, true. no, 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 I think you're right though. Like, it's like a very specific voice. Like if you're like if you're like I don't they call it like I don't I'm not a singer. I don't, we don't the know octave and term, stuff like can't like, go that high. Like don't sign me up. Like even not drunk, I'd, ima I'd imagine that this is what this it would is sound a different like. like. Come on, right? Because like, this has a little bit of like would you call it like twang? A little like a little bit of like singers, urban a like raspy, a yeah, little like bit, a little like, bit of sexiness involved. There's nothing sexy about the national anthem. No, I don't think I think they set her up for this actually. I don't think They're, they set her up. There's a reason why we've never seen Taylor Swift sing the national anthem. So true. You know what I'm saying? Like Taylor Swift's a bad example. That's a perfect example. But she no. also has the same kind of voice. But like Ariana like, would be great for this. Right. But like Taylor has the kind of voice where it's like Taylor ain't singing, singing. She's talking, singing. Right. Like now Ariana, singer. national anthem. Beyonce, national anthem. Uh, who else would be horrible for this? Lana Del Rey, bad for national anthem. Because she's talking. She's talking and like. It's, it's poetry. Oh, so It's yeah, poetry. I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so uh Ingrid uh, she said she's going to rehab. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's going to rehab for her drinking problem. See, I didn't know if this was rumor or not. No, she she re released a statement saying that she's going to rehab. Seek that out. means it's a problem. So we need to backtrack for a second and But does that really mean it's a problem? Yes. Every a celebrity can trip out of a club you think and the next day they'd be like, I'm going to rehab. Wait, I have like, a question. Yes. Okay, not to like get myself canceled, but do you think she's saying She's going to rehab, so it's actually like a real problem she's struggling with, so people can't come for her as hard when it's like took a little shot. The world don't ever know, but I'm still gonna come for her. Like we didn't give, we didn't ask for Fergie's excuse. We just been we've been dragging her since 2018. Like Ingrid, I don't not to say we don't care what your excuse is. If you have a problem, you should definitely get that problem handled. But that does not take away from the fact that this was a horrible, horrible national anthem. Okay. I'd imagine if Beyonce was wasted on the stage, it would sound better than like that's true. You know what I'm saying? Like you're. Yeah. But Mariah again, Carey. Like we talked about she her could, voice. She ain't got a national anthem voice. She could be on PCP. Mariah Carey would kill that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just you just like, yeah. I hope this is a lesson for everyone else that if you are a singer really out funny. there, yeah, I'm so hilarious. 
Um, if you're a singer out there and you're really successful, don't sing the national anthem unless you're good. Unless, like, practice at home. First, unless you're and basic. Then say, How is that? And if everybody yeah, says, and you know what? Stop putting people around. I have a little question to the celebs. Not a question, a statement. Go. If you're a celebrity, stop keeping pick me yes men around you. Yeah. If I ever get famous, I'm bringing my most hater ass bitch along with me so that she can be like, you sound like shit. Because all these people are telling these people they sound good or like, you look great in that dress or this is a great thing to tweet or you should for Mm -hmm. sure post that. And they're just like, they're just trying to see you fail. Literally lying to your face. All right, well, Ingrid, you heard it here first. Get a new team, get new friends. Hire me and Wild, we'll tell you. You send us a voice memo, you sing, I go, I don't know. Uh, I think you should um, step out of this one. back to (laughs) Uh, Bobby Altoff, moving on. Bobby Altoff said she did not sleep with the rappers who she did interviews with, okay. according to her. Um, so since Bobby Altoff has like come to influencer stardom, okay. there's been a lot of rumors about like how the hell did Bobby Altoff get Drake on her show? Right. How did Bobby Altoff get Offset? How did she get a lot of the rappers that she had on her show? And let's not forget, the whole thing with Drake was that they were flirting the entire interview it was based flirty. off mm-hmm. people's opinions. Right, so everybody's like, well, how is she getting them on her podcast? She's a virtual no one. Well, we don't have an unofficial answer, but we'll tell you what Bobby's official response was. Yeah. And Bobby's basically saying that, like... She's popping off, first of all. Let's be honest. She's really, like, sick mm-hmm. of it. And really, this is... We've been waiting for this from Bobby. It's yep. a year too late, but sure. She said she's sick of seeing these claims from people who have no idea. Give a little more oomph. She's really mad. She's sick of seeing claims from yeah, y'all. Yeah, that's how she's And y'all ain't got no damn idea why her marriage ended or who she be. <laughs> that's how she's, she's in her room, like. Or who she's sleeping with. She says, quote, go live the lives you deserve and shut the fuck up. Applause. Not applause. No, but seriously, I think the divorce happened or the separation or whatever the hell. Separation. Happened guess. too quickly after the Drake interview. Mm-hmm. You should have like really thought about that with your ex and been like, hey, can we lay low for like a Maybe six months? Because like, it's me like, days. it was so fast after that. It's like, you for sure fucked Drake. And it you was know? like the Drake interview. Then we saw her at a Drake concert. Then we saw her around. Yes. Some other and it's like, first of all. And it's like, Drake, get- are you trying to court this man's wife? And also, we don't get all these black friends. Okay. I know that's what her husband said. That's, I don't think that's ah! happening. I just think <laughs> that if I was a mother. Uh-huh. And then randomly I get TikTok famous. Mm-hmm. My husband's in the industry. Is that confirmed? Is he in the industry? He's in an industry. Okay. He's in uh in, he he has a job. Mm-hmm. And it's like very normal. And then Ish. you randomly get famous overnight for flirting with a rapper on your podcast. Right. My husband, pissed, jealous, anxious. What's happening? Right? Yeah. My thing is, I hate when celebrities do this thing of like. That's not what happened. Well, okay, but tell us what the hell happened then. A year ago. You should have told us a year ago. I'm serious. Like, you have a full platform. Get on live and be like, listen up, bitches. And it's also weird to be like, go live your lives and shut up. Lady, you are an influencer. First of all, she's not talking to me because I have to talk about you. Listen, but like, that's what you do is what we we all do the same thing. And that's talk about nothing. Mm -hmm. Like, come on, sis. People are going to talk about you. Now you're a celebrity. You can't. This is the part about celebrities where people get pissed off. Yep. You don't want to buy any business when you are going through a divorce. But when you, you have want that to Drake damn on the podcast. pod, I don't see Drake on my podcast. Ah, uh, where Drizzy? I ain't Poppy. Where you, you at? You know what I mean. <laughs> but if he was here, I fully expect tomorrow. It's like that blonde brunette whore and that random black dude. They're all talking shit and saying stuff. They probably had a threesome. Like just mean, mean shit. Then they come up with some stuff. Like yeah, just yeah, shit like, that would never happen. And it's like your, it's your job. It's my job then to go on Instagram the next day and go listen, guys. We had Drake on and I didn't kiss him. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. Or take. She the, waited like, too long. Or I think. I think you gotta look at this two ways. Like you gotta take the like I'm never saying anything route ever. Or I'm gonna tell y'all what it is. I'm gonna yap like, my whole way through my yeah, stardom. See, not me. I'm not saying nothing. Oh, you? Sweet. Are you a yapper? Oh my god, instantly. <laughs> Guys, I didn't make out with Drake, I swear. I dress nothing. Me on Instagram Live. Me on literally, like with photos as evidence. And I go, shit I'm like getting that. ready to go to a party, but I didn't kiss Drake yesterday. So, we don't really know what's going on with Drake and Bobby. Do you think they still talk? No. I think they're like no. enemies. And remember the interview? The unfollow. Got, remember the interview got pulled. And well, that was because the. Was okay, here, here's what I'm saying when we're capping yeah. this. All right. The Drake interview happened. It was flirty based off of public opinion. You should have not gotten divorced right away. 
you should have that little under wraps because mm-hmm. you know how the world works. Right. And then you should have went like super, super public and told us the real truth. Yeah. So that we know. Otherwise, have we have idea. to speculate. If you don't Honestly, confirm, true. Yeah. room for speculation. There's room for speculation. She goes, do y'all think I wanted to be divorced at 25 with two kids? I, I know I wouldn't. But it's also why I ain't getting married. <laughs> but I also don't have Drake in my pod, you know? Because. I'm not flirty. <laughs> All right, uh, anything else you want to talk about before we get out of here? I have a Gypsy Rose update. Oh! Gypsy okay, Rose update. Boom, boom. Gypsy Rose, jip, jip. Mm-hmm. Speaking okay. of. She's pregnant with Ken's baby. Ken Urker is not her husband. It Correct. Is, yes. It, her ex-husband, Ryan Anderson, and her are still married. Yes. And I know we know this, but I just want to reiterate to the class so we can get a discussion going in the comments. Because remember, I'm reading now. Okay, go. <laughs> in Louisiana... If you are married to somebody and then uh-huh. have a baby with someone else, the one you are married to's name goes on the birth certificate. No freaking way. Correct. You got There's no way. Correct. So you mean to tell me? She got to get, so she has to get divorced then before the baby's born, right? I think so. Remember, I'm not a lawyer, but okay. I do work here and that's the talk of the town. You just shared a whole I know thing. God, no, that's true though. The, it's uh, like the law in Louisiana is if you are married to someone, and then you get pregnant by someone else, your husband's name has to go on the birth certificate, and then the reasoning is like, if she wants child support, she can't go to Ryan about it, or get money from her husband. It's just to protect the, f- it's to protect men, which is so fucked up. Oh, that sounds about Louisiana? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Damn. Uh, you can go fact check this with the lawyers after, I know you will, but I promise this is true. Um. Did you see that she shared, like, a video of the baby's heartbeat? Yes. Did you think it was cute? I just really think that we should have... I'm happy for you. Mm -hmm. I hope that Ken is faithful. Yes. I hope that you are happier, and I hope that Ryan Anderson finds, like, a gorge new wife. Mm -hmm. And I hope that everyone lives happily happily ever after, but the fact that that baby has to be born with Ryan Anderson on the birth certificate was tea to me this morning. That is wild. That is actually wild. That's all I have to say. Okay. Well, thanks for that tidbit, Stephanie. Oh, welcome. Uh, thanks everybody for tuning in. Can we put in. a little check mark if I was right by the when the lawyers approve my little message, Branson? I want a little check mark. Ding. Okay. Thanks. If we don't use the check mark, we're going to keep that exact thing in, but we're going to have an X. That's fair. All right, we're going to get out of here. Okay, bye. Uh, please be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to the comment, podcast. Comment, comment, comment. I yes, want to talk. Also, we need y'all to actually subscribe to the podcast on podcast. Yeah, platform. and so comment. Add us to. Say comment one more damn time, I swear. C O M M E N. Bye.